Hi boys and girls. Today's health lesson is going to be about our muscles. So I just want to start off and ask you, I'm going to start off with my brain buster trivia here. All right. And do you know how many muscles are in your body? I'll give you a moment to think about it. I want you to either write your answer down or tell somebody in the room. I'll give you five, four, three, two, one. Well, the answer to your brain buster is there are actually, we can't really say exactly how many there are, but it is approximated that there are about 650 muscles or what scientists will tell you, they'll say that there are over 600 muscles in the body. Okay, so that's a lot of muscles. So that shows us that it's really important to exercise all of them and keep them very healthy. So what exactly is a muscle? Well, a muscle is the meaty stuff around your bones that allows you to move, okay? Your, your muscles are attached to at least two bones at all times, and they can actually only move in one direction. They can only pull. So whenever you move your body, even if you're throwing, kicking, running, it's your muscles pulling on your bones that allows you to move, okay? And what do they do? Well, that's what they do. They help us to move. They move our bodies and they do things like they also allow us to eat and they have all kinds of different jobs. So when you think of muscles, you mainly think of your um, skeletal muscles, the ones that you can see when you make a muscle. Um, but they're actually there are actually three different types of muscles and we'll get into that pretty soon. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to take a look at this. This is a really good picture here. And if you notice, um, the muscles have like little lines. That's actually the what we call it. We say that they're striated or striped. So your muscles have stripes. And they're all made of these things called muscle fibers. And what happens is, is when you move, your muscle fibers interlock within each other. And that's how your muscles move. And the way they get bigger and stronger is, it's actually funny, they get little nicks and tears as you exercise. So if you ever feel like your muscles are kind of sore, it's because you have, you've, you've actually torn them up a little bit in very little small amounts, nothing that's anything major. But what happens is your muscle starts to heal and you get something called hypertrophy and your muscles get bigger as you exercise. So this is a picture of the striations and over here, this is if we were to take all, everything else away, this is what your muscles would look like on your body. So I mentioned to you that there are three types of muscles. Okay, we have your cardiac muscle, which we learned about last class, and that's your heart. Okay, there's only one cardiac muscle, that's your heart, and probably the most important. Also, you have your smooth muscle. Okay, so think about the food that you eat. You know, you take a you bite, take a bite out of a banana. All right, you don't tell your small intestine to move the, the to move the body. You don't tell your stomach to grind it up. You don't do any of that. That stuff just works on its own. So your smooth muscles are actually muscles that work all by themselves. You don't tell them what to do. Uh, and then you have your skeletal muscles. Okay, the muscles that we've been talking about, the ones that you use when you throw, when you kick, when you run, when you punch, when you chew, when you point to something. Okay, these are muscles that you can control. All right. And that's what we've been talking about lately. So how do you get your muscles strong? All right. There are many different ways to get them strong, but the most important way is by exercising, and eating healthy. So take a look at these exercises. All right, you get your muscles strong by stretching. You get your muscles strong by basically getting outside and being active, playing. Uh, I always just talk to you guys about just getting outside and exercising for 60 minutes. You don't have to be into sports. You don't have to be um, a world-class athlete, but what you do have to do is just find something fun that you like to do that gets your muscles up and moving, okay? And that's what's gonna make your muscles strong, okay? Uh, but it's also really important to feed your muscles properly. So how do we feed our muscles? You guys know it. You drink lots of water. You get um, eat very healthy. And if you take a look down here, 
Um, these are all examples of protein foods. So protein is what um, helps your muscle tissues repair. So when you exercise, you get a little bit sore after a really long day of exercising and being on your feet all day. This protein kind of keeps you healthy, repairs anything that, um, that you worked really hard that day. And it's foods like beans and nuts and seeds and fish and eggs and chicken and beef. All of these things are great foods for your muscles. All right. So remember, to keep your muscles healthy, exercise, eat healthy, and get lots of rest at least 10 hours a day. Okay, boys and girls, this is your mini health lesson for today. Your homework is get outside, be active, work out those muscles, and I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys are staying healthy, and I miss you, and I hope to see you guys soon. Have a good day.